This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. As this video contains graphic content, viewer discretion is advised. On the 9th of August 2017, National Day, a hamster lover noticed that her aunt hamster had difficulty walking. Hence, she brought her hamster and made her way down to Topayo Vets. This is a 2 year old male dwarf hamster. The owner reviewed that the hamster tried to climb up the cage. However, his right hind leg got stuck between the metal wiring of the cage and the door, causing it to limp. After consultation, the hamster was brought into the surgery room for further examination and treatment. Upon a close examination, we found that the hamster was suffering from a tibial fracture, which is around the knee area. The fracture was found on its right hind leg, causing it to limp. Because of the pain caused by the fracture, the hamster would try to lick the area. If not treated, the hamster would suffer infections and sores in the long term. Hence, the owner decided to go with the vet's advice to amputate the hamster's leg. Here is the procedure of the amputation of the hamster's leg that was done on the 10th of August 2017. Firstly, since the hamster was very nervous and in pain, it was given inhalational anesthetic gas to calm it down. The machine was set to 5% isofluorine, which is general anesthesia. When giving anesthesia, the time of administering should always be noted down. In this case, it was done at 2.47pm. Next, the fur around the knee area is shaved off to expose the leg and the fractured area, making it easier for surgeons to carry out the amputation with precision. Once the surgeon is ready and the hamster is shaved, the hamster is given a stronger anesthetic injection. Now, the amputation begins. This amputation is done by electrosurgery. This electrosurgery machine provides high frequency alternating electrical current to allow the surgeon to cut through bone and the muscle. This is how electrosurgery looks like. The surgeon is amputating the hamster at its knee joint. After the leg is amputated, the surgeon will suture the muscle and the skin back up. Here is how the hamster looks like after the amputation and the suturing. It's the 11th of August 2017, day 2 of recovery after the surgery. The hamster is awake and walking even with just 3 legs. There is also no stitch breakdown of the rather big 1cm cut, which is a good news. In conclusion, we can see that hamsters can live normal lives with just 3 legs. When advised to amputate one leg off, do not hesitate. With amputation, the hamster can still walk with ease rather than leave the leg to be and cause more pain or infections to develop. Mm -hmm.